Hello everyone, it's John and I'm in the car today for a food review. I know you're expecting something else, but that's what we have for today. Anyway, I'm going to be trying two things from the White Castle. One thing that I've already tried before and another thing that I'm pretty sure they got wrong. So prepare for disappointment in this video um, and prepare for me to be upset as my camera holder doesn't want to hold my camera properly. There we go. That's better. Anyway, let's go ahead and try the thing that they, I'm pretty sure they got wrong. They have a new beverage coca-cola cream soda it is an exclusive coca-cola flavor to white castle as of today when i am reviewing this in fact it does say a little circle on my screen for some reason messing me up okay the circle has to do with where it's focused at and i just want to like make it go away there we go I'm like staring at the circle but it makes me look at the wrong direction for my eyes to be focused on the camera um, so I think they got it wrong because if you look at the straw here that's pretty clear right if you I don't want to tip this over but let me see if I can get my camera to point down here for a second that's one of the lightest color beverages I've ever seen in my life it's almost completely clear uh, so if coca-cola cream soda is supposed to be like crystal pepsi coke but with a cream flavor, then maybe that's what this is. Taste-wise, it tastes like a sweet cream soda. I don't really get any cola flavor from it. What I imagine how they got this wrong is that it's supposed to be a mix of this and they're supposed to mix it with Coca-Cola. Um, but they didn't do that. They only gave me the cream soda part. Is what I'm assuming. If this is right, then the cola part, the cola flavor part of this is really lacking. If you remember, I also tasted uh, and reviewed Pepsi's different uh, soda shoppy. Um, they had a cherry one and they had a cream soda one. Yeah, this is such a light cream flavor. I think this was supposed to be like in one of those machines that add things together. And they just didn't add the Coca-Cola part to it. Because really this tastes like a drink that was just made with an added flavoring. Which is probably why there's no color to it. Because if it was an added flavor... They wanted to maintain the original Coke color, and that's not what they did. It tastes like a fine cream soda um, that you would get out of any, like, fountain machine that had cream soda. A little creamy, a little, like, bubblegum-ish flavor. But overall, just sweet anyway moving on from being disappointed something you might have already seen me try but the reason why I got this again is because the first time I tried it it was only available in like one or two uh, one or two stores and now this is available in almost every store I believe 
New York and New Jersey don't have them yet, but they're still planning on doing them. That is the 1921 slider. Uh, this slider from White Castle is based upon the original slider that they sold when they opened in 1921. It has a considerably bigger beef patty than a regular slider. It has caramelized onions. On the top, it has lettuce, tomato, a slice of cheddar, and pickles. As I recall, I enjoyed it when I had it before. Let's try it now. And again, this is at a different store. This is actually the store closest to me. Uh, though the other store that tried it in was in Chicago. The beef is thicker, it's juicier. And overall, a different taste and experience than a regular White Castle slider. You get a more grilled beefy flavor, as well as with the lettuce and tomato, adding more moisture to the sandwich. different flavors, different textures. They do have a decent tomato on here. It's not like a watery pink tomato. It actually has some tomato flavor to it. And they also use cheddar cheese instead of American cheese. All those things are interchangeable. You can ask for a different type of cheese on it if you want. But I always like to review it as they come. Came with cheddar, so I'm reviewing it with cheddar. Um, and then to compare, I have a regular cheese slider right here. As you can see, much thinner. much less texture and chew to it. This is the one that really emphasizes the word slider. Because everything here is so... I don't know how... To, something that is slidey, it's kind of like slimy. It's slick. Nothing is crunchy. Nothing is something you have to bite through. Or chew for too long. And that being said, I really like both versions. The 1921 and the current original slider are both things that I enjoy. I'm allowing someone to walk by the car here for a second. Sometimes I, I, I think it's weird when I'm talking to a camera and people are just walking by the car because they don't know exactly what I'm doing. I don't really want to explain it to them. Um, and my channel is not uh, extremely popular. So it's not like someone will know who I am from here. But anyway, back to what I'm eating here. The 1921 slider from White Castle. I like it. Thumbs up. You should try it um, at least one time. It's a different experience. Uh, 
I don't know if you were around during 1921 and have first-hand knowledge of what they looked like or what they taste like, but maybe you were. And maybe you're, you're still so savvy that you're watching YouTube and you see this one, and I'm letting you know that it's back and you can try it and relive your happy days of days of youth. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Um, sorry that I couldn't uh, really review the Coca-Cola cream soda. Or maybe I did. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, we'll see you in the next one. So long. Bye for now.